Gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm gonna to talk to you all about you've got a crush on a woman at work, fellas. And this was a patron requested topic, so not only do I appreciate your support, sir, but also for giving us this video uh, topic uh, th this morning. Now, this was a gentleman who uh, broke down a kind of a long story of uh, basically their interactions and what had been going on. And he told me that he had a crush on this girl for a while and that generally their interactions were a little bit flirty, but that he would say certain things sometimes to uh, try to try to make it be known that he liked her and that she would kind of take those things and run and not reciprocate at all. And then he says that a couple of times more recently that she's been kind of disrespectful towards him. And especially uh, one time that got him upset, she disrespected him in front of another staff member where they were kind of like working on a uh, project or working on something together. And she made a comment in the group like, oh, him and I have a, a very interesting relationship. And he went to make a comment like, oh, wait, you know, we're, we're in a relationship now. And she kind of just shut it down and was like, oh, you could never be in a relationship with me. And that kind of got to him. That hurt him. That stung. And I could see why if you've been crushing on a girl for a year plus. And so he, he told me that he then chose to, at this point, basically just ignore this girl and just carry on at work. And now what he's noticed is that, you know, she's kind of going out of her way and doing little things to try to get his attention again. And when she sees him speaking to other women at, at the job, she's giving off kind of like a jealous vibe and asking him questions like, hey, is everything okay? Are you okay? And he's wondering like, why? Like what's going on with this girl? Why is she so uh, confusing? Why does she seem like she's interested in how I'm doing, how I'm feeling now, but she's kind of shot down all my advances in the past? Like why is she, why is she uh, playing these games? Well, fellas, first of all, if you've been on this channel for a while, then you probably know my stance on dating women at work. I've certainly done it in the past many times, but I always feel like it's a bad idea. It's always a bad idea because so many things can and will go wrong and they have gone wrong uh, for me in my own life, in my own experience. Now, I know that the easiest place to uh, pull chicks, to pull women, is at the job. And why is that? It's because you spend a majority of your time there. And so these women get to get a chance to get to know you. They get to see how you, how you move, how you operate, and just your whole swagger. And so, fellas, the only time I would say it's, it's okay to talk to someone at work is if you know you're getting ready to leave that job and you don't care about that job. If you know you're getting ready to leave. If you've already made in your mind your exit plan, your exit strategy, then it really doesn't uh, matter if something happens or if you get fired or if you get um, written up or whatever the case is. You know, these chicks are crazy. And you gotta be careful because if she doesn't like you like that and you continue to like push the envelope and ask and ask her out and make comments, she's liable to report your ass. And so you gotta ask yourself, uh, do you wanna go through with the potential repercussions um, over some tail, over a little crush? I would say, you know, 9.99999 times out of 10, it's not worth it. But since you asked me to make a video on this topic, I'm gonna go ahead and make the video anyway. And if you are going to pursue these women at work, which I already know y'all are, I know y'all are regardless of what I or anyone else says because it's hard not to, right? Hey, attraction doesn't give a fuck where you work at. So if you're attracted to someone and you want someone, hey, it is what it is. I get it, fellas. But in this particular case, sir, what I believe is happening is that she doesn't really like you like that. You know what she likes? She likes the attention that you give her. She likes knowing that uh, you find her beautiful. This is a guy who told me in his letter that, you know, he, compl he complimented her uh, early and often, telling her how beautiful she was uh, uh, numerous times. And so, fellas, women love to be told that they're beautiful. 
even from guys that they're not attracted to at all. Their self-esteem, uh, it, it takes a fucking hit damn near every morning when they wake up. And then they gotta get in the mirror and they gotta put all that, cake, all that makeup on and get all beautified. So by the time they step out of the house, okay, they're probably feeling pretty good. But generally speaking, um, their, their self-esteem and self-confidence is up and down, up and down, up and down. So of course they're gonna be they're gonna uh, enjoy being told that they're beautiful, and enjoy the compliments from men at work. You might even be her work husband. You know what a work husband is? That means she's got a man at home. But when she comes to work, she's getting all her attention and all her um, her her self esteem boost from you. She's getting that from you, man. And so here you are, you're crushing hard. You're you're envisioning, you're picturing your white picket fence, your house, your babies, and I know that's what y'all are doing. I know it is. And she's not thinking along those lines. Because I'm telling you right now, if she was, and she's she knew that you liked her, and she knew that you were trying to progress things, if she liked you too, she would meet you halfway. It's not even necessarily about the fact that she was she's going to outright pursue you. But if she knows that you like her, she would have given you a chance by now. Trust me when I tell you that. If a woman knows that you like her and she also likes you, she's going to put herself in a position for you to be able to ask her out and get her out. She's going to come up to you at the at the office or at the job and she's going to say something like, so, hey, so so what are you doing this weekend? Fellas, a woman who has zero interest in you, she's smart. She's not going to come up to you and ask you what you are doing over the weekend with those little uh, cute uh, puppy eyes that she'll give. That's an invitation for you to be like, oh, well, I'm not doing much. I'm, uh, I'm free, actually. What are you up to? Did you want to get together? She's going to ask you leading questions like that, fellas. Now, are some women just evil? And they'll fuck with you and ask you questions like that with no intention of, of going out with you, but they just want to, um, you know, see your heart rate beat a little faster. Sure, but that's a that's that's a rare rare minority. Most women who ask questions like this are are probably going to be having some level of interest in seeing you if she's asking you a question like that. But again, in your case, I believe she just wants attention. That's why you see her circling back like a hawk. That's why you see her acting a little bit jealous when she sees you talking to other women, but ignoring her. It's because she misses her work husband. She's not trying to let you clap cheeks. Now, if you know her uh, demeanor changes and she's coming at you asking you directly what you're up to and if you wanna, if you wanna get together, hey, at that point, man, listen, it's your choice. If you want to take off, hey, take off. I would say still, uh, still stay away from her again, unless you're planning on leaving that job. But if you want to take off, man, take off. But at this point, you have to let her do 100% of this pursuing. You're no longer telling her that she's beautiful. Uh, you're you're not going out of your way to speak to her. You're not giving her any uh, compliments whatsoever. You're not giving her any any attention, and you're not staring at her. She's dead to you at the office outside of uh, basic standard work procedures. That's it. You're going to be cordial. You're not going to be walking around there acting butthurt with your little bad attitude because she didn't want you. No, fellas, don't be like that. Don't act like that. Just be nice. Just be kind and just do your job. That's it. That's all you need to do. And again, if she likes you, if she wants you, she'll make it be known in some way. Really, that's the best thing you can do in this scenario. Don't don't pursue this woman anymore. One thing that we all got to know and understand, fellas, is that when we are being and feeling confused by a woman's behavior, it's very, very simple. It's very simple. It's that she does not like us as much as we like her. And that's just a fact. That is just a fact. And I know that's not something you want to hear necessarily, but that is the truth. That is the truth. That is where all that conflicting and confusing behavior comes from. Oftentimes because 
they're, they have another man or men in their life that they are more interested in. Because trust me when I tell you, they're not going to be providing all that confusing behavior to the guy they really like. The guy they really like is going to have uh, things laid out on a platter for him. And, and things are gonna be fairly easy. She's gonna be easy to set plans with, easy to make a date with, and she's just going to generally have a very um, you know, feminine, easygoing nature in his presence. But a guy she doesn't like that much or she views as a friend, she's going to more often than not be in her masculine. And she's gonna uh, say uh, uh, rude comments like she has made to you in the past. I don't care if she's joking or not. A guy that she likes, she's not gonna want to mess things up by pushing him away with that nasty, funky little attitude. So again, any confusing or conflicting behavior, fellas, take it as a sign that she's not that interested and you just gotta keep on leveling yourself up, keep on improving. If she notices you in the future, she says, wow, this guy's whole swagger has changed. He doesn't even care about me anymore. Damn, I see him uh, going out on dates every weekend. Oh man, I fucked up. Maybe then she'll circle back, but you don't give her any more attention if she's treated you the way that she has. So I understand you got a crush on this girl at work, but it's in your best interest to just leave this girl alone and just move on. Again, unless she's coming at you strong and you don't really care about that job. So I hope that helped, bro. And uh, remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in and day out. And guys, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Come pledge to my Patreon if you want to support me and get a whole new catalog of weekly content. And guys, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never trap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.